Hi guys, it's Kylie and I am presenting Kylie in the Kitchen Caribbean style. And I'm super excited because this is my first Kylie in the Kitchen in Cayman. And I am cooking brigadeiros, so I want to teach you how to make this Brazilian um, popular treat. It's kind of like a candy, so it's caramel fudge, but it's made with sweetened condensed milk. Just one can, which is about 14 ounces. You use two tablespoons of softened butter. You use one quarter of a cup of powdered cocoa powder, and that's it. It's super simple, and I can't wait to show you. That will be your main batter for the candy. You'll turn on the, the stove top and what you'll want to do is actually pick a wide based kind of pan um, rather than cooking in a big pot um, because with the wider surface of the pan it'll cook faster. So turn the stove onto low or medium low heat and you'll slow cook the caramel. When you're stirring the mixture, I recommend using a wooden spoon. Stir the mixture until it thickens. It might take about four to eight minutes depending on your temperature. Maybe even more if you have it on a super low heat. Also, while you're stirring the mixture on the stove, you can prepare a small plate that has been lightly buttered. as well as a small plate with sprinkles or jimmies, whatever you might call them. Traditionally, the recipe calls for the chocolate brown sprinkles. Personally, the rainbow sprinkles are my favorite because I love having colorful things in my life. And if you want to make the recipe even more your, your own or even more unique, you can toss it in cocoa powder, powdered sugar, even crushed nuts. Um, so feel free to get creative and make it your own. The only extra ingredient that you can use if you wish to change the recipe a little bit in your own way is to add extract for additional flavor. As I'm stirring the mixture and it's starting to thicken, I was thinking about the different flavoring agents that I can add to enhance the flavor. And initially I went to Foster's or I went to the grocery store and picked up some almond extract because I thought that would be delicious but I remembered I have some rum in the refrigerator so I am actually going to use a half of a teaspoon of rum and drop it into the mixture in just a few moments I'll show you when to add the rum you can see it's starting to thicken but it's still not quite there we have just a few more minutes of slow cooking and you'll see the difference shortly. Something to keep in mind when you're watching the thickness of the mixture is you want to be able to roll these into little bite-sized balls. Um, so if it's too loose, you're not gonna be able to roll it properly. It'll just melt all over the place. When the mixture begins to thicken to a decent stage, you can see how substantially thick that is. You can add the flavoring here. And to me, that looks good. Transfer the mixture onto the buttered plate and allow it to sit there for a few moments just to let it cool. When the Brigadero pile of mixture is cooled, you can take a, te a teaspoon and slowly scoop it for consistency. And you can see it's almost like a thick mousse. After you scoop a ball of the Brigadero, you roll it into the sprinkles or your topping of choice. Et voila! A Brigadero.